This is James Holder for IFL TV. I'm at the Grove in the Casino today in Leeds, ahead of the Maxi Nutrition card. Also fighting on the bill, I've got former world champion Junior the Hitter Witter. What's happening, Joe? I'm good, man. I'm good. It's been a couple of weeks, <coughs> difficult, or maybe a week since I last seen you. Yeah, it is. Um, box probably about six weeks before that, so mm -hmm. I'm happy, I'm on it, um, I'm raring to go. At the age you are now, 40 years old, how much are you enjoying your boxing? I'm loving it. I mean, being in the gym, the gym is buzzing, you know what I mean? Galahad, Kel, I mean, Golden Boy Sid back on the scene. The gym's buzzing. And just being around that, being part of it, it's wicked. Fantastic performance from Kid Galahad last week. I thought we'd just touch on that against Fred Mandrabi. Did you expect him to take him out like that? I thought he'd wear him down, probably about six, seven stop him. And he went out and just destroyed him. He did, he did everything right, he got in there, he showed the size, speed, power and skill he's got. Without landing everything flush and clean, he still managed to absolutely destroy him. Yourself tomorrow you've got a, a Latvian opponent coming over. Is it a case of just not getting the win but looking very impressive tomorrow for yourself? It's keeping busy. You know I mean, um, it's never a foregone conclusion. You know I mean, I've seen this guy before, he's tough. Um, I think last time I saw him box, he boxed the middleweight. He can take a shot and he will fight and he likes to fight, but I'm just going to be slick, be quick, be me, land my power shots and see if he drops. What do you think of the light welterweight division at the moment? Light welterweight isn't as strong as it was when I was there, but it's still decent. Hmm. Would you like to challenge some of the bigger guys in this division? Do you see yourself working up towards that? Um, realistically, I see myself, yeah, I mean, back to British title by the end of the year, um, moving back onto the world scene and getting shot at the world title. Whichever world title that may be, whichever Mick, Mick can sort out, when it's Watson sort out, you know what I mean? The man John Ingle, got to give him all props to him, you know what I mean? He's got me on this one, he got me on the last one. So, um, big respect to him. Um, Dominic in the gym, pushing me and keeping me fit. I mean, I've had some good sparring for this, been sparring with Bob Atchison quite a lot. So, um, I know it's going to be hard, I know it's going to be good, but I want to be back at the top of the world. With the, some of the kids coming through the Ingle gym, the likes of... Atif Shafiq, Jordan Gill, um, to name a few, Kid Galahad even, do they keep you motivated and the older guys in the gym to keep on striving and keep on achieving? They do keep me motivated and they do push me and they want to beat me up, which is good for me, it's good for them. <laughs> yeah. They learn from me, I learn from them. I never stop learning this game, you never do. We've got a kid called Abraham Horner, um, had two fights, pretty raw but he's going to be a right talent. Um, Atif Shafiq is, is the talent, the jewel in the crown. A little bit undiscovered at the minute, but when he shines through, he will be a major player. How much how, how much day-to-day -day basis do you deal with, um, say, the Ingle camp? How involved are they in your life? Um, I'm in the gym twice a day, every day. I mean, so I, the gym is part of my home. The gym is, is I spend more, as much time in the gym, realistically, as I do anywhere. Do so, you, do you it's credit, life. Do you credit them, sorry to interrupt you, Jim, do you credit them with your success and being a big part of that? Oh, 100 percent. Yeah, I mean, Brendan, Brendan, phenomenal influence when I when I turned pro. Um, coming through from the amateurs, seeing Brendan, seeing what he did with Ryan Rhodes, seeing what he did with Nas, jumping on the back of that, producing my own style from his style. Um, yeah, I mean, so much down to Brendan, Dom, John. John's matchmaking at the minute is second to none. He is the man in the country. All right, well, listen, I wish you the best of luck tomorrow. I'll be here covering the show for the Max Nutrition card. Hopefully, I get a post part interview with yourself tomorrow after you do the business. Oh, you will. I'll be here. Thanks, Junior. Thanks a lot. Thank you, bro.